and welcome back to Celtic Fans TV. We've missed Celtic so much that we've decided to make some preview content this week. So we're going to look ahead to Saturday's game against Hibs. Not quite. Mm, not enough. Good to go. Sorted. Sorted. So it's second versus third. It's the league's best attack against the league's best defence. We so happen to be the best defence. That's just how the start of the seasons went. So, given how it's gone so far, our start, Hibs have started well. Um, that's a big game Saturday, isn't it? That's a big game. Uh, when you look at, we came off the back of the 6-0 against St Johnson uh, before the international break, and we're coming into a game against Hibs. Hibs are now one of the kind of top of the table teams, one of the ones that you would look in under Neil Lennon um, to finish in, maybe top the top four, four yeah. top three, top four. So a game against Hibs is always going to be a big one. Um, against anybody at Celtic Park, we're favourites, especially domestically. So you wouldn't think that it would go Hibs way, but Neil Lennon is going to come for a win. Uh, it's going to be a big game. It's going to be one that we need to put our uh, stamp on and really press on. Absolutely, I think obviously we had start how many goals they've scored um, and off the back of the games we had against them last season they're always competitive, the one thing about Neil Lennon is he's a winner, he's born now and he's, now. he's probably not going to come for a draw No, he, he'll obviously set up slightly differently because he's coming to Celtic Park but we know that he wants to win actually uh, he done a bit of content with Ladbrokes a couple of weeks ago I watched with Darryl Curry and he's saying uh, this far into the season, the way you've started sitting seconds, you must be delighted. And Neil Lennon said, no, we could be top. And right. I think that sums up it the does. way Neil Lennon's approach things. So there's no doubt they'll be up for it as well. Um, a big game for us, as I say, last season's games, they managed to take seven points off us. Right. Um, with a, a couple of 2-2 draws with them. They, they beat us after the split. We beat them 1-0 at Celtic Park uh, in January. So tight game. There's always a lot of goals, though. And I think it will be interesting to see how Hibs set up, given that they've, they're scoring so many goals, they're playing so well this season. Do you think they'll maybe change it a bit? Do you think they'll go a wee bit more conservative because they're coming to Celtic Park? <laughs> I think they will, because domestically we do really well at Celtic Park. Um, Hibs are never going to come under Neil Lennon, uh, looking for anything less than the three points. They, I think they'll believe that if they play well enough, they can get the three points uh, on the back of the form that we've had in the start of the season. They are above us in the league. Uh, Neil Lennon will be using that, I would think, as fuel for the fire. And I would just say that my gut tells me yes, but I'm not certain. I would think yes, they will play a wee bit more conservative, they'll be a bit more reserved, uh, they'll sit back a wee bit, but I'm not certain. In terms of team selection, for us then, off the back of that St Johnston game, we are we played so well. Yep. Um, we've seen in the, the content for the St Johnson game that Aye. it was suggested maybe we benefited for not having Scott Brown in the team. Maybe, the a bit, aye, maybe we're a wee bit more fluid, we're a bit quicker through the midfield. But we expect him to come back in for this one, don't we, if he's fit? Without a doubt, a 90% fit Scott Brown uh, is going to be in this team. That bit of content, as much as it was hotly contested by a number of people. We weren't saying that, that Bruni's passed it. Um, we weren't even implying that. But I think what you saw was that just against St Johnson that things did move quicker through the middle. Um, Bruni is the man for anything against some of the kind of the bigger teams. We're playing St Johnson, not Hibs. Uh, and if you look at Bruni against the Anybody uh, at the kind of top end of the table, he's a must, absolutely must have, uh, both his physicality, his aggression, his control, his everything that he can bring to the team uh, is absolutely vital when you get up against the, the top of the table teams and I think it's a must that he goes back into the team this Saturday. Aye, I think obviously in the St Johnston game, it's where we can afford to take more risks. I know Aye. he was out injured, but... Yep. The, the change that we've seen in the speed of the play um, is something that we could afford against St Johnson. Aye. There's no doubt when we come up against 
top three, top four sides like Hibs are now. Yeah. Um, that we need Scott Brown in there for both his, his technical yeah. qualities and his leadership. 100%. Sitting in front of the back four. He adds that bit of protection. Obviously, Hibs, as we've touched on, are attacking really well. Yeah. With the likes of Canberry, Marlon, Martin Boyle. They do look sharp, so we do need Scott Brown in there, absolutely. And right. like by no means, as he passed it, by no means nah. are we saying that we don't need him. He's an absolute necessity for us. Yep. But it was just interesting to see against St Johnson the, the different style of play in midfield. Aye, um, it was. It was. But when it's against Hibs and it's, it's a tougher game, we need him back in there. Yeah, for sure. That brings us on to Lee Griffiths. We'll not give away too much of the, the starting Aye. 11 Aye. because uh, we'll keep another bit of content for that. Keep your eyes peeled. Um, but obviously Lee Griffiths in the headlines for pulling out of the Scotland squad. He said it was to focus on his fitness to, to try and get back in, in peak shape for club and country in the future. Do you think there was any like a bit of huffy streak in that or do you think it was genuine? I think when it comes to Lee Griffiths, he's been known to throw toys at the pram, and I think it's probably a mixture of both. I think he probably does feel like we've heard Brendan Rodgers say uh, a number of times since he's came to the club that he'd like to see a bit more for, for Griff in terms of his, his fitness and his dedication and that sort of thing. So, um, and at the start of this season, I don't think he's been um, all kind of guns blazing. So, I think. It probably is a mix of both. I think if he's taken the time this past couple of weeks to get on the training ground, build up the fitness again, get himself to a stage where he can come out there and do exactly what we know Griff can do on the top of his game, then all credit to him. But I do think that he's uh, had a wee stand against Alex McLeish, if I'm honest. I think he's probably tried to send a message there and say, if you're not going to put me in the team, this will happen. So... I think it's probably a mix of both, if I'm honest. Aye, I think there's definitely a bit, definitely a bit of that in it. Aye, uh, but for a fan's point of view, I, I mean, speaking for myself, obviously, like I've totally fell out of love with international football. Right. So I kind of like the the putting club before the country bit of it, because uh, that's his bread and butter. And if it leads to him getting in better shape, a bit sharper for Celtic, then. Then that's all the all better. Right. It's 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 definitely welcome because there's no doubt. Obviously, like Lee Griffiths will score goals for fun, hundred like, percent on his day. Just no doubt about it. Um, but if he could add that wee extra edge in terms of fitness, there's no doubt that would take his game up a notch. And we've heard Brendan Rodgers talk about it a few yeah. times uh, since he came to the club. So hopefully he can add that and uh, just make him a, an even better. An even nice better to see, aye. So, predictions then, how do we think it'll go? Obviously, we <coughs> touched on it, a lot of goals in the games last season. Yeah. A few 2-2 draws. Both teams are off the back of 6-0 wins, which is Aye. a verity. I don't know, how often does that happen? Off the international break as well, how do you see it going? It's always difficult off the back of the international break. I think it's, a, it's one of the ones where you finish up really well and you just hope that you kick on. One game's never enough to say that's us, we've turned a corner. It'd be nice to see us go out there and have a convincing win against Hibs on Saturday. Do I think we're going to score three, four, five goals? Personally, I don't. I think it's probably going to sit... My gut tells me maybe 2-1. I would take a 2-1 home victory over Hibs. Hibs are high scoring, high scoring in the league so far this season. So I can't see them kind of leaving Parkhead without putting a ball in the back of the net. So my gut tells me 2-1 and I'd be quite happy with that. Three points is an absolute must. I think that's imperative. Like Three points is, is a must. Off the back of the St Johnson game, where you just think we're starting to click into form, yep. we just need to put a string of performances together in the league now. 100%. And, and really get back to that top form uh, where we week in, week out. But I think there will be goals. We have had a great uh, defensive record at home this season. Really like good, that. That goal in the last minute to Livingston is the only time we've conceded. But I do think there'll be goals. I'm going to go 3-1. I think it'll be 3-1 and three points for the Celtic is all that's necessary. That's it. So we'll let you finish that beer and we'll round this up. Magic. Let us know what you think of the game on Saturday. 
in the comments box below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you at Celtic Park on Saturday. Thank you. Cheers.